Throughout our lives, the cells in our bodies grow and divide. But when cells start growing and dividing uncontrollably, they become cancerous. There are more than 200 different types of cancer, and scientists are continually developing and testing new ways to treat them. Most cancer therapies involve drugs designed to kill the rapidly dividing cells. The cells of our immune system are continuously monitoring our tissues. A major player in the immune response is a white blood cell subtype called a lymphocyte. The three major types of lymphocyte are T cells, B cells, and natural killer cells. Natural killer cells send stress-associated molecules onto damaged and cancerous cells. Dendritic cells activate cytotoxic T cells, which can then sense tumor-associated antigens. Once activated, cytotoxic T cells and natural killer cells release molecules that degrade the tumor cells. As the tumor evolves, genetic changes occur that give some tumor cells survival advantage. For instance, tumor cells may no longer express the molecules that are sensed by the killer immune cells. As the immune system continues to kill the cells that it can recognize, the cells it can't recognize become more prevalent. This leads to the emergence of a tumor that can't be detected by the immune system. Immunotherapy is a cancer treatment that stimulates the body's immune system to protect it from disease development. The idea goes back to the late 19th century to an American surgeon named William Coley. He injected bacteria into tumors and watched them shrink. The bacteria, it seemed, were provoking an immune response. But the immune system is highly complex, and for most of the 20th century, scientists struggled to turn Coley's observations into effective cancer treatments. But after decades of learning about the immune system, a variety of immunotherapies are making their way into the clinic. Immunotherapy can be divided into active immunotherapy and passive immunotherapy. Active immunotherapy stimulates the body's own immune system by targeting antigens to elicit an immune response. Passive immunotherapy involves administering immune compounds such as lymphocytes, antibodies, and cytokines to fight the cancer. One of the passive immunotherapy methods is called adoptive cell transfer. Adoptive cell transfer therapy involves utilizing your own cells and immune system to target tumor regression. There are several different methods in conducting adoptive cell transfer, such as using tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, genetically modifying T cells with chimeric antigen receptors, and combining T cells with high affinity T cell receptors. However, this video will focus on tumor infiltrating lymphocytes approach because it has distinct advantages of having a broad coverage against different tumors, as well as having the longest clinical history among the three approaches. In the TIL approach, tumor tissue sample is taken from the patient and TILs are taken from that sample. Tumor infiltrating lymphocytes are then grown and amplified in the lab to as much as billions in number. After amplification, TILs are given back to the patient. A group of researchers at MIT are currently making significant strides in the abolishment of metastatic melanoma through the use of adoptive cell therapy. Adoptive cell therapy is now one of the most effective treatments for metastatic melanoma, the most deadly skin cancer due to the rate at which it metastasizes. In one clinical study done by this group in 2005, 18 of 35 patients treated with adoptive cell therapy experienced an objective clinical response, meaning that there is sizable regression at the tumor sites. These sites included lung, liver, and brain, among others. These patients had previously undergone heavy treatment with other methods of cancer treatments with no reduction of their tumors, which led the group to believe that this is a promising result. It was observed that most treatments for patients with metastatic melanoma have a low rate of complete regression, which is the disappearance of all signs of cancer. The group then wanted to investigate the ability of adoptive cell transfer to mediate complete regression of the tumors and thus cure the cancer completely in the patients in order to increase survivability. They released another study in 2011 with similar results to a prior trial from 2009. They found the maximum objective response to be 72%. 20 of the 93 total patients achieved a complete tumor regression, and 19 had ongoing complete regressions beyond three years. The five-year survival rate for the entire group was 29%, but for the 20 complete responders, it was 93%. It is evident that ACT can cause tumor regression. In fact, this approach can now be applied to patients with other types of skin cancers. The last few years have seen many promising developments in anti-cancer immunotherapies, but there is still much work to do. Activating the immune system has risks. Some patients develop harmful side effects when their immune system attacks healthy cells. While this video focused on adoptive cell transfer, there are multiple immunotherapies that are currently being used to treat multiple types of cancers. Right now, it's difficult to predict who might respond to a particular treatment, and some responses are only short-lived. If these hurdles can be overcome, many more cancer patients could benefit from strategies that boost their immune system. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Demystified Medicine.